guitars. Um, today we're going to be looking at one of some of my favorite, one of my favorite guitars. But when I say that, I catch myself slowly because it's an emotional favorite. It's not an actual physical favorite. It's an emotional favorite because I was given this as a friend from a friend. Reality, it's got a lot that leaves to be desired. So we're going to get into it. Let's take a look at it. Remember to like and subscribe. That way I know people are actually watching. And uh, like I say, let's keep our comments positive. This is a positive channel. Let's get into it. As you can see, it sounds okay. Um, I have issues with the volume levels. I mean, right now this is sitting at right around a five. Everything else I've been playing, I've been playing for you at about a three. Volume levels, it has issues. As you run your fingers up and down the fretboards, there's there's a lot of problems. A lot of problems. They just they'll cut. You need to be careful when you play it. The string height and intonation, it gets a little bit high towards the end. Um, tone and sound, it's okay, it's it's not great. This is like the Barracuda model and like I said, it's it's okay, it's not great. I wouldn't jump on going ooh 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 ooh. It's, like I said, it's one of my emotional favorites. It's not necessarily one of my favorites to play though. As you heard when I was playing up here it plays really smooth and the further you get down here the harder it bec becomes because the intonation it's just it's too much of a reach if you notice the strings come half up my fingernail that's that's quite a bit actually so that's that's what I said I mean playability it's it's okay It's okay. I, I'm not going to run home and tell you how great it is. The tone. Not a tremendous amount of difference with the tones. Not a lot. There's not a lot of tone on it. Um, when I play this, like I said, I love this guitar because of the person who gave it to me. But would I buy one? No. So with that, we'll get into the fit and the finish of the guitar, and then we'll go from there. Okay, when we start on the fit and the finish of the guitar, I have to start by saying this is an old, older guitar. I was given this a long time ago. So it's held up quite well, actually, fit and finish-wise. It's, you know, there's some little lines in the, in the polish that you can notice. The biggest thing that I have to say is, if you look at my finger... There's a lot of difference between the height of the strings and how far you got to press down when you get up here, and up here you have very little. It makes it very difficult to play sometimes. Um, fit and finish, I really actually, the fretboard drives me nuts. It's, it's so sharp, it's like you're afraid you're going to cut yourself. The look of it, it's actually a pretty nice looking guitar. Like I say, all in all, it's one of those guitars, had they put a little bit more care into it when they were making it, it would have been a nice guitar. It had you, if you take the time to file each of these frets down, put in different volume and tone pots so that you get better volume and tone out of it, because it's a pretty quiet guitar and the tone is not spectacular, you'll find that it would probably be a nicer guitar. Just saying, as they come, there are some fit and finish issues, right? Like they're very inexpensive tuning pegs, so they'll come out of tune really, really quickly. Um, 
yeah, so like I say, when it comes to the fit to finish, that's what I would say. It's just too bad. I mean, these retail for about $300. But if they'd have put a little bit more time into it, like this is the cheapest pit guard money can buy. That's Like I say, if they put a little bit more time into the fit and the finish, this would be a very nice guitar. Now, of all the guitars that I've rated so far, this one I've had to put the most thought into it as to how I rate it because I have to take my emotional feelings out of it. This is a gift and I love the person who gave this to me very much. I'm gonna give this a four out of 10. It could be a really good guitar and trust me, one day when I'm finished with it, it will be. But it's too many flaws, too many, this is like scary to play. I run my fingers like this and I can feel it cutting into my fingers. It's very scary to play that way. It's got such little volume. I can't give it more than a 4 out of 10. But that doesn't mean to say that I don't like it because I do. It was a gift. I would just say for your money there are better guitars that you could buy. And that would be my suggestion. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy my channel. Um, like I said, positive comments only, please. This is a positive channel. We're all about guitars. I don't want to discuss someone's economic, political feelings on anything. This is just for fun, a guitar channel. And like I said, I hope all of you enjoy yourself. Like and subscribe and have a great day.